Hello everyone. Um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know what's been going on. Um, a couple of months ago, I received a message. Um, one of my YouTube fans had a 40th birthday coming up. Um, and yeah, I received a message asking me if I would uh, to send him a birthday message. Um, but I thought, you know what? I could do better than that. Um, so... Yeah, after speaking to my friends at um, Keybait Solutions, um, Castaway PVA and Midland Mixes, um, we got him a few goodies together. Um, and yeah, I went and surprised him. Um, on his birthday, he didn't have a clue I was coming. Um, he didn't realise I was there until I was standing in his kitchen. Um, so yeah, he was quite surprised to say the least. But yeah, we are, we have, sorry, a trip coming up um on Redlands Farm. Um yeah surprising with that one as well. Um twenty four to thirty six hours fishing. Um so yeah he's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Carp Graft. Um, yeah, haven't been out much. Um, done 21 hours fishing since my last um, trip with a few mates down on Alphix North Lake, which was a mega trip. Um, if you ain't seen that, it's on my channel now live. Um, yeah, 33 bites, 33 fish landed, up to 51 pounds. Mental, but uh, yeah. For, yeah, for those of you that um, don't follow me on Facebook, um, I surprised a guy not that long ago. Um, nice guy called Chris Seal. Had a bad year. Um, got a message to ask me if I'd send him a, um, a birthday message. Um, and I thought, you know what, we can do better than that. So I went and surprised him with a bit of bait, a bit of PVA from my friends at um, Keybait Solutions, Midland Mixes and Castaway PVA. Um, and yeah, not only that, we're now at Redlands, we're back at Redlands and we're join he's joining me tomorrow morning for a trip down here at Redlands. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm here um, a night early, um, try and find some fish, I found some fish to be fair, hopefully they're there in the morning, um, be a good starting point. If not, we'll get on the move in the morning with him. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we can both catch some fish. Um, it's looking good at the moment. Another one just showed as I'm looking back across the lake. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed we will get in amongst some fish. They're starting to show heavily out there now. Um, got about an hour before dark. We're gonna, I've got some solid bags tied up last night. Um, yeah, so uh, we can get fishing straight away. So fingers crossed we get one, right. Let's get the uh, van unloaded and get going. Right guys, we have three solid bags out. Um, yeah, about 30 yards apart, just spaced out along the line where fish have been showing. Um, I'm not convinced, I'm not convinced. I think I might have done them wrong, to be fair. Um, yeah, once I got the rods out, I was thinking nine times out of ten, they actually moved down the other end at night. And I was like, you know what you do. So I'm going to give it an hour, hour and a half. I'm not going to set anything up. It's getting dark now. It's about 20 past five. So about 20 minutes time, it'll be dark. Uh, I've seen a little bit of fizzing around the bay to my right. But I see a few that were yeah, fizzing, but they were coming out the bay. And uh, I think that's the fish that I've seen along that same line. So we keep an eye on it um yeah yeah it's quite obvious that um there's fish out here at the moment but there's also fish down the other end which i never see when i first got here but there's certainly fish showing down there now um yeah but fingers crossed this weekend me and chris when chris turns up in the morning hopefully we both catch that's what it's about um i want chris to come here you know i've said to him uh 
when I surprised him on his 40th birthday, I said to him, you know, ask me anything, you know, whatever you want to learn, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. Um, so, yeah. We are here, awaiting Chris's arrival. Three rods on solid bags, all the gear still on the barra. So I'm gonna have a bite to eat, keep me eye on the water for in the daylight that we've got left. And if I feel that I've done a wrong one, I will move, without a doubt. So I'm with Evening all, we made a move like we said we was gonna um yeah I had to move so I was showing heavily um on the opposite side uh move around there and um I decided yeah rather than fish solids I'm gonna put a bit of bait out. I put twenty spawns over one rod and it was away within two hours. Um yeah we've got a cracker in there. Um I think it's my biggest it's my first session on uh, um of the year back on Redlands, um, and yeah, I think it's the biggest mirror I've caught from here. To be fair, um, right result. Yeah, I, I knew I had to switch tactics. So I've got a, a big target in here um, now. Um, the new lake record is a forty-nine and a half common, a fish I haven't caught before. Um, yeah, it's the biggest one in here, big long fish, um, real cracker, mint condition. Um, yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to be in the old 50 bracket soon. Um, like I say, last time out, 49 and a half, about a week ago, 10 days ago. And, uh, I thought, yeah, change of tactics. Um, rather than just fish with bites, put a bit of better bait out there and try and get the bigger ones in. And, uh, <laughs> I think it might have worked already. It's, uh, like I say, it's a really good mirror in the net. <coughs> so we'll we'll get around and show you. See how big she is. Well, there you go, guys. That's a really nice mirror. My biggest mirror from here is less than twenty-five. So uh, yeah, that one's going to smash it. It's uh, quite broad as well as deep. I don't know, it's a low thirty myself, but we'll get her out and have a look. What a start! What a start to this. Uh, this year's winter ticket. Happy days. Well, guys, the change of tactics has certainly paid off. Yeah. My best mirror from Redlands. It's a lot of people call it the House of Commons. Um, but yeah, it's starting to rain hard now. Typically, when we're trying to sort one out. It's a bit of a funny shape, but very proud with the dorsal fin up. Happy days. What a cracker that is. Yeah. Just a smidgen over 28. Right result. A real nice fish. Great way to start the winter ticket this year. Well pleased with that. I think it's my biggest mirror by over three pounds, to be fair. All right, I'll show the other side quick. There's the other side. Like I say, he's a little bit kinked, but he's lovely. He would do nicely. Happy days. Right, it's absolutely tipping down. So, we get the camera gear in that way. Put the fish back. Have a celebrate with a cup of tea. Well worth the move. Yeah. First night of the new winter ticket. Awaiting Chris. 
in the morning. Hopefully we can get him one. Happy days. Right result. Second bite, second 20. 21 and a quarter. Lovely one, this one. Real lovely one. Look at that. That is a cracker. Real stunning fish. Another one for the future. Yeah, well pleased. Got to make changes. I'm fishing two and solid bags, and that just just ain't working. I've put thirty spawns now over the one rod, and had two bites, so they're obviously wanting bait. And sure, you know, we might not think it's getting cold, but the water's certainly getting cold. It's got white spots on it, cold spots along its back, um, and it's cold to touch as well. So the rainwater's been going in. There's certainly uh, been cooling them off. I'll show the other side. They yeah, say so in the future this one will be named. Without a doubt, that's going to be a sought after fish. Look at that big moon scale in the middle of it there. What a stunner. Happy days, yeah. Nice start, really nice start. Two twenties. Happy days. Right, I'm going to get it back. All in all, a very tiring night. I've had about three hours sleep. Uh, heavy rain and, uh, you know, in between bites. Woke up this morning, um, just after first light, thinking, although it had only been a couple of hours since I had the last one, I was thinking, felt like I should have had another one, and uh, put the kettle on, bang. Same rod again, same rod over the bait. Change of tactics today, but that means we might have to go home because yeah, I only bought I bought five kilo of particle and four kilo of boilies with me, and we're less than half. We've got less than half that now, much less than half, and um, yeah. I put 40 spawns out and they're having it, you know, and I'm only fishing one rod and bait at the moment, so yeah, I think we could be in trouble if, uh, if I don't go home and get some bait. We're going to see Chris, going to get Chris, um, as soon as he turns up, he's going to give me a ring, um, we'll get him round here, get him set up, and then about lunchtime, I think I'll have to shoot home, get some bait. It could be another busy night, I'd rather have it with me than not. Um, yeah so yeah happy days we'll uh, <clears throat> get her out get the other rods off the solid bags get them prepared for once chris has arrived depending on how long he is um might put some bait back out get the spot ready yeah good times right let's get us sorted there we go guys Pretty one. They're certainly growing now. There's another lovely mirror. Look at that. <laughs> 18 and 3 quarters, that one. Yeah, three mirrors in a row. That's unusual. And they're obviously uh, the greedier ones at the moment. They got to the bait first, that's for sure. But yeah. Right, let's get her back. Hopefully, 
there's some more during this trip for Mayankris. When he arrives, certainly off to a good start anyway, on our first trip of the year down at Redlands. Well guys, it is doom and gloom out there at the moment. Um, having had the rods out most of the day, I've been home, got some more bait. I wanted to make sure that when Chris, you know, I see Chris in earlier at the gate this morning, about 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, I left me rods in from after having that one this morning. Um, it was an 18, it was 18, 12, um, mirror. Um, yeah, like I say, I only just recently got the rods back out. All three are out with bait over them now. I'm not fishing any solid bags. After having three on the one rod over bait, I've decided to go all, all out bait. Um, we've got Chris's spot as well next to me. To my right out on the pontoon. Um, took the line of where the fish have been showing and, um, yeah. He's got, he's got his two rods out there. So we will get them back out again in a couple of hours. So they're all, Nice and ready for tonight. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're both catch tonight. That'd be good. We'll have a little catch up with Chris in a bit. When the rain stops, hopefully. Yeah, come on the car. Well, there we are, guys. Saturday afternoon. Chris has now joined me. There he is, and uh, yeah, he is the man that we surprised for his birthday, his 40th birthday. We've been down, well, I spent most of the day, to be fair, without the rods out, but we've got them out this afternoon, and um, yeah, it's looking good. There's been a few fish bouncing about. Chris's rods are all sorted on the spot, mine are all sorted, just playing the waiting game now. But so far, apart from a fish off our looks earlier, it's all been in the night, so. And as we all know, from now on, the nights are long. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, me and Chris can both catch a fish tonight. And not forget, not forgetting the lovely Jade, who's in the bivvy there. Yeah, we're all there anticipating catching a fish. Fingers crossed, it'll happen. Looking good, it's nice and mild, all that's rain. Fingers crossed. Well guys, getting dark quick out there tonight. Yeah. Might be long, it'll be pitch black. But uh, yeah, I was expecting another bite today to be fair. Um, yeah, sadly, real one in earlier, foul up. Yeah, that, that's fishing. So we'll just slip the up and let it go. But yeah, didn't expect another one, but hopefully that happened just after dark. Three in the night last night, same again tonight would be nice, but we shall have to wait and see. If anything does happen, guys, you'll be the first to know. Fingers crossed. Well, here we go, guys. Just sitting in the bivvy, wondering if it's going to happen. And, uh, yeah. Three rods down, two fish in the nets. There's a common over there, which is either an upper 20 or a 30. And there's a little mirror in there. Now, yeah, they're definitely one in the bait, but it's definitely, uh, feeding in the dark at the minute, mainly. Right. Let's get them out. Sort them out. Here we go guys, not as big as I thought, look at him in the net, but well pleased with him. Calm down. There we go, nice bar of gold, 24.12. Cracker, another mint Redlands Common. Yeah, amazing. Rods have been out there for hours. Cut the spot up. And there you go. Alright guys, gonna get him back. 
Happy dice. There we go, guys. The the bite of the night and the low double common. So we're just going to slip the hook and let her go. Good morning, all. Well, it's been a good night and morning. I've got 27 and a half common in the sling. I had about an hour ago. Um, just waiting for it to get the light to get a bit better, and uh, yeah, now we've got a nice mirroring around in it. A very a lack of sleep again. No sleep last night, despite the clocks going back. By the time I felt tired in between bites, it <laughs> started dozing and the robbers away, so yeah. That and the rain, huge amounts of rain last night, ridiculous. There was a shower sort of every half an hour, it felt like. But yeah, now it's that calm and uh, yeah, just at the last bite in the middle world. Fingers crossed for another one. And I'd like Chris to get one, to be fair. I'll keep an eye on the water and see what we can do to. Make the change so we can get Chris a bite. Here we go, guys. Back in 27 and a half common. Nice wake up call this morning. Here we go, guys. Nice chunky 23 and a half mirror. Yeah. Future's bright down here at Redlands, that's for sure. There's going to be some monsters in the future. Happy days. They're certainly growing these mirrors. The last couple of years have been a hell of a lot of um, doubles and odd doubles, but during this session the notes have been getting bigger. Happy days. Let's get this one back. As you can see, guys, a little bit of carnage out there. Yeah, two rods down. Just put the common and the mirror back, and I've got another mirror in the land in it. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be back at Redlands. Just need to try and find a way of getting Chris a bite. Notice that we've been showing the fish getting closer again to us this morning. So, hopefully, we will find a way to get him a bite. Here we go, guys. The old weather's coming again. It's raining hard. So, but yeah. Another one and another 20 pounder. Only just over 20 this one. 20 pound four. He's got a very strange, almost like he's almost been an half in the past. He's got a scar right through the middle. But yeah, they're very chunky. They're uh, very healthy fish. Yeah, let's get him sorted out quick. There he is. Happy days. Get him back quick. Get the rug back out. And it's raining. Good times. Proper carnage, guys. Uh, yeah, the only rod that was actually left out there from three rods this morning. Uh, that's now gone. And there's another mirror in the net. We kept seem to be catching all the mirrors in the House of Commons. So yeah, let's get it sorted out. This one, another 18 pounder, another nice scaly one. Fish number 10. As I said to Chris, when I get the rods back out, they're all his. Any one of five goes off, is two or my three. This is 
I came on this to, uh, I wanted him to catch fish and we haven't been able to buy him a bite along there, um, even though there's been fish there. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll get another bite on any one of these five and it's his. Lovely scaly one, that one. Right, let's get it back. Did it come off, Chris? It's got to be careful now because it's going to take you straight over them other two. There we go guys, we done it. Is this Chris we want? Me personal best. Only buy half a pound or a bit more, but it's still a personal best. Take it. Happy days mate, well done. Well there you go guys. <coughs> Said to Chris this morning, whatever one of the five rods goes, these two or my three, there is. Um, and yeah, he's had a personal best common. And now, He's got a 20 plus mirror in that. Just down there, wait and focus. Sadly, we couldn't get a bite out of his swim. Um, the fish weren't there like they were yesterday. But yeah, the bait there out in front seems to be uh, still picking them off. So yeah, I'm sure he's happy. Mirror in the common. I think we need to start thinking about packing up in the next couple of hours before the rain starts again. We've just had a big downpour. And uh, yeah. There's two rods left out, I'm not going to put the other one out. And yeah, fingers crossed they get another one on them while they're out there. But I'm sure he's happy, I'm sure he's enjoyed himself, that's the main thing. I wanted him to catch a fish and uh, yeah, he has now, so happy days. Well, there we go guys, number two for Chris, 17 and a half mirror. Another one for the future. But uh, yeah, that was the main goal, was to get Chris here and... Uh, have him catch a couple and he has now. Hope you've enjoyed it, mate. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Good, good. Well done. Happy days, mate. Cheers, mate.